this chapter and the next two chapters talk about the different elements of a face when you're dealing with animals. This is a new approach that I did not include in uh, book one and the reason why I included this is I got a lot of feedback from people who found um, I didn't spend enough time on the details and things that I thought worked and didn't work as far as my approach to drawing. Book one tended to be a little bit more of an introduction to drawing on a tablet and now we're going to get into some of the details. So in each one of the eyes that you'll see that I placed within a table, I'll explain to you the things I liked and the things I didn't like and uh, you can be your own judge as to the eyes that you thought worked very well and didn't work. The keys when you're talking about eyes is to make sure that your shadows are, are included and that you zoom in to make sure the details and the depth are there. So um, I had stated in my first book that you always have to have that little bit of a reflection in your eye to make sure that you add the, the personality to the animal or make the animal look alive and the, the eyes not flat and two dimensional because that'll automatically make your picture look very amateurish. And so if you'd like your pictures to look very good, take a lot of time, zoom in, take your time on the eye, and that'll give your animal the personality that you're looking for. Good luck, and I hope that you do well on the eyes of animals.